Wood Green Community Services organized a meeting for newcomers to Canada, titled the Multicultural Wellness Event. More than 120 people attended the event, which took place on April 4th of this year at a halal restaurant in North York area of Toronto. The majority of participants were Muslims residing in Toronto, but individuals from other religious backgrounds also joined and broke their fast alongside the Muslim attendees. Steve explained to Whistle TV that the event aimed to foster the sharing of experiences, successes and challenges related to Canadian cultural diversity and the experience of newly arrived immigrants. Vice President of Community Programs at Wood Green Community Services. Uh, we're hosting an event tonight to uh, celebrate many cultures coming together, to have a meal together, uh, to break fast, and to really uh, share some of our experiences of uh, immigrating to Canada, landing in Toronto, and forming communities. Uh, people have shared about their successes, have shared about some of their, their difficulties, but ultimately kind of the, the ability to share and to um, bring many different communities, many different cultures together is exactly what uh, Wood Green uh, is doing and trying to create space for people to celebrate and, uh, and, and come to get to know each other a bit better. So uh, as you can see around 120 people here tonight, uh, there might be a bit more um, and uh, we've all just uh, heard a little bit more about the different programs and services that Wood Green has to offer. Uh, so and we're hoping to connect a bit more about that. Yeah, so this event is just for newcomers and we actually have many different events for newcomers. Some of them are wellness focused, so we bring in a whole number of different health service providers and different services so that people can come to understand what those services are. Uh, and we have different events, so we have uh, and, and services like uh, settlement supports, employment programs, uh, support with finances like tax uh, preparation and financial counseling uh, and all of that can be found at Wood Green for newcomers. Mr. Steve Farther mentioned in an interview with Wissal TV that Wood Green operates branches across Toronto offering free services to newly arrived immigrants including assistance with housing, employment and financial matters. Yeah, so we have several offices that support newcomers, so you can come uh, enter any one of our locations and there'll be a settlement counselor or a staff who will support you uh, and they, they can support right away in terms of getting access to language classes, uh, different types of counseling, employment supports, financial supports. Uh, you can also visit on our website or connect over their phone or virtually. Uh, and, uh, and these are supports for newcomers. They're free uh, and they're found within many locations in Toronto. Psychologist Tina Abadi, who participated in the event, shared with Wissal TV how she provided valuable advice on safeguarding the mental health of newly arrived refugees experiencing cultural shock in Canada. She emphasized the benefit of such programs for immigrants' mental health. این ورکشاپ ها در خصوص مشکلات و موانعی هست که نیوکامر ها ممکنه توی کانادا باهاش مواجه بشن و ما راهکارهایی میدیم که راحت تر بتونن از این راهکارها استفاده بکنن که در پروسه در واقع اجاست شدن توی کالچر جدید توی فرهنگ جدید توی کشور جدید بهشون کمک بکنه خیلی خوشحال میشیم که ما رو در این ورکشاپ ها همکاری بکنید During the event participants shared their personal experiences Sina, a recent immigrant from Afghanistan, described the initial challenge she and her husband faced due to lack of information, but highlighted how they now receive support from Wood Green to pursue higher education. Sina, I'm from Afghanistan. Nice to meet you all. Um, we just came last year here. Uh, it's been one year and a half that I've been here in Canada with my family. But the sad part is that when you settle in a, in a country that you don't know about and you don't have enough information about, it's very really difficult to settle down. So for me, it's very difficult because um, my husband is a professional person, but it's uh, very difficult for him to find a job. And for me, that I'm so eager to do my higher education, uh, it was difficult to find a job or to uh, find a place to do my higher education. But fortunately, I... Um, uh, attended two sessions from Wood Green, which was about mental health and also about educational um, processes and how to do your higher education. And uh, fortunately, 
I'm one of the students that is being supported by Woodkin community, and currently I'm doing my ECA program, which is being uh, the fund is uh, uh, the fund is uh, supported by Woodkin community, and I'm so happy to be supported by Sally and Sanaula Zazai. Thank you so much to them and for inviting me today to this event. Thank you so much. Another attendee, a newcomer from Bangladesh, expressed gratitude for Woodgreen's assistance in navigating the Canadian job market and culture, which ultimately led her to volunteering with the organization. In this event, as you know, when I came here in Canada, I barely knew about the job market and also culture and also like the organizational behavior. Then one day, me and my husband went out for work and I saw the message that, are you a newcomer? Are you looking for a job? And it was Wood Green. So I went there for their services and they assigned me to a job coach. And it was like um, life changing for me. My job coach, she referred me to the ELT program. Then I met Shoaib Jaman. I'm really thankful to Shoaib Jaman because throughout, through this ELT program, I have learned so many things like how I can uh, apply for my jobs, how I can uh, write my resume, my cover letter, business email, and everything related to organization behavior. And from that, they referred me uh, to another course. This is also in Woodgreen, and it's for Microsoft Office course. Now I'm taking this course, and like in almost uh, two and a half months, I have completed my course, and my course teacher referred me to teach weak students. So after taking this CLT program, I have gained my confidence so much that you can see I am standing in front of you sharing my success story. And also I have signed a placement agreement that is a volunteer position as an administrative assistant for tax cleaning. It's also in Woodgreen. So I am, as a newcomer, very thankful to Woodgreen. And I would like to convey my special thanks to Shoaib Jaman and Moshe Baklo for guiding me to move forward and also pushing me to do what better for me. They really encouraged me and motivated me in every single step. And now I can say that yes, maybe I can apply for job. Maybe I am ready to enter this job market. So once again, thank you so much for inviting me and thank you so much for having me. A participant from Ethiopia having spent only four months in Canada credited Wood Green for providing housing and household necessities, facilitating her settlement process. And uh, when I get to Wood Green Community Service, I got Ghana and Ghana just uh, got me uh, a, a home and now I'm not in a shelter. Uh, I'm in, a, in an apartment and also Ghana uh, connected me with a furniture bank and I got my furniture too. And I, I wanted to thank Ghana for, make it, for doing this kind of things. Thank you, Ghana. I finished my course on March 28, 2024 recently. So they invited me here. I'm very, it is a privilege for me that uh, I'm part of the Wood Green organization and uh, the networking the event here it was today very fruitful because the workshop they gave on mental health it was so true that we have a cultural shock and with the help of wood green supporter the facilitator we all like gone through and we we just have our strength back that okay we can do it they are the facilitator they will listen to you they are the one who will build the networking with you they are giving you the language exposure and everything. So if you are at Wood Green, you are at the right hand and you will learn and you will succeed that what you are doing. I am part of TD Bank. 
I proudly say that the Wood Green helped me a lot because of the language course. They also appreciated at the bank, and they were saying that Wood Green is just a, is just a platform that is a right choice and give you leverage about the workflows as well. So thank you so much, Mo, Shoye, Mahir Hussain, Kazi, the director, Brendan, and. Uh, Everyone, if I forgot somebody's name, like a Sally, they all are here to just guide you. So it's the best platform. Please join. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Throughout the event, several refugees shared their immigration journeys, successes, and challenges, providing valuable insights for others. One participant emphasizing to Wisalti with the event's significance in fostering connections and opportunities for newcomers me for this event. It's really a great experience, I think. I um, hear here a lot of uh, experience about food green, about opportunities here, about how I can grow with this. Uh, and also I uh, build great networking here and I think it's a great opportunities for my future and also for my future career. Thank you. The event concluded with a dinner where participants following the evening call to prayer broke their fast together. Notably, the gathering reflected a spirit of tolerance and brotherhood, with attendees from various religious backgrounds respecting each other's traditions and beliefs.